fans. Malinaw para sa kanila. Oras na para tapusin ang series tonight. Magandang gabi po. Welcome to the Championship Capital of Philippine Basketball. And uh, as always, when you when we are in a game three and a team is leading two games to none, yung balloons, are they going to fall? Or meron bang magandang plano sa si L.A. Tenorio and head coach Al Francis Chua para sa Inebra? Miko Alili with Jason Webb and Richard Del Rosario. And gentlemen, for Alaska, it's the best opportunity to get the championship via a possible sweep. And for Inebra, classic do or die situation for them, Jason. Nothing new para sa Barangay Inebra. They've been in this situation before. Kanina nakita natin the awards that were given us earlier. And uh, yes, the two players uh, fighting for the best import award, Robert Dozer and Vernon Macklin. And uh, Rob Dozer was named uh, best import for the Commissioner's Cup. And we also handed out the best player of the conference uh, award earlier. We'll get to that in a bit. Meantime, game number three is underway. Your Supreme Court for tonight. Goal killing in Peter Balao. And uh, Sherwin Pineda complete the crew. We're underway and Alaskan is in immaculate white. Ginebra is in fighting Red Richard. What are we looking for here in game number three? Well, definitely Alaska smells blood and they will be going for the kill. They've been dominating in this series and I expect them to get off to a good start. It's going to be an emotional game for Barangay Ginebra as well. If you're Barangay Ginebra, you cannot not have a good start. We might as well mention it earlier. The best player of the conference was awarded to Luis Alfred Tenorio, beating out Calvin Abueva for uh, that prestigious award. Naturally, when you win a, a very relevant award such as a BPC, they affect you. Whether you like it or not, whether positive or negative, to somebody like LA Tenorio. And if you are in that award and you win it or lose it, it takes away your concentration in the game. It's always tough. But you know what? Just going back to that award, to okay, LA. Yung nanalo si LA Tenorio ng award na yan. If people said, manalo si LA ng uh, best player of the conference, probably a lot of people wouldn't have believed it. It's a testament to the relationship that he and Al Chua have had and to the testament of what the con kind of conference LA has had. Earlier, uh, th that race was down to two players and LA Tenorio winning out, much to the delight of uh, the uh, thousands of uh, Hinebra fans inside the Big Dog. Uh, LA winning the Panasonic best player of the conference. Well, Vernon Macklin doesn't look like he's running. <laughs> you know, it really looks like he's hurting as JJ has the ball. Macklin slowed across the half-court line. Here's Tenorio with a runner and goes in and out. A rebound para kay Dozier. It's not even a walkathon para dito kay Vernon Macklin. Talagang really hobbling. Talagang, I think there's tremendous pain. I don't know if it's his knees or how long it'll last. Bounce pass to La Cruz, here's Dozier, and Dozier is fouled. Look, we're looking at Vernon Macklin, and if we're, we're just in the opening moments of game number three, and he can't even cross the half-court line, you know he is playing through pain. Heroic effort, uh, for sure, but can he do that for like 48 minutes? And can he never survive with Macklin moving that way? It's almost going to be close to impossible. Without a 100% Vernon Macklin, mahirapan sila. Yun yung one, yun lang sa unang mga laro ng serye na to. They already struggled and he was feeling better in those first couple of games. Yeah, but Alaska cannot feel sorry for uh, Vernon Macklin. They have to attack his defense. Uh, and then uh, just try to pounce on this opportunity. I like this idea of Barangay Ginebra. Send the man of Dozier doon sa pick and roll para hindi siya makahelp. Here's Tenorio. Shot clock down to three. Casho is down. Shot clock down to one. And not in time. Initially, initially Richard, it's a good idea. See, those are in the pick and roll nila para hindi makahelp. But the ball has to move quickly and reach Macklin on the other side. Na hindi makakahabol ito si Dozier. Nangyari mabagal yung swing nila. Nakabalik na naman si Dozier sa ilalim. You know, alam mo, usually hindi naman si Dozier yung primary point of their offense. No? It's just a secondary option. But right now, in a couple of plays, siya yung una nilang pinupuntahan. Back, back down to six for Alaska. And Dozier attacks 
but he misses. Bothered by Macklin somehow. Here's LA. LA zigzagging. Hand off. Kirby. And he gets blocked by Dozier. And Macklin is fouled and he will take two. Yeah, you can see he can jump to get those rebounds. But again, I think it's more of running uh, back and forth and unilateral uh, movements on the league for them. So we have not gotten any concrete reports. Have we gotten? We have not gotten any concrete reports. I just read in the papers that it was found out in the last series from Jason Castro. I don't know if it's a camp. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I think that was game number uh, five. Quick change, quick change para dito kay uh, Luigi Trillo. He's probably seeing that there's not a lot of energy in that first unit of his. And he wants to make sure that they start out stronger than what he's seen in the last few minutes. Yeah, Macklin really laboring uh, here in the opening period. Here's Cyrus Baggio. Oh, what a fake. Anti-move, but it ends up with Kirby. Here's LA. LA's on the move. LA fakes hand off. JJ block. Bozier with another block. And here's Cyrus surging ahead. Cyrus is fouled and he will take two. One thing players should learn, especially in a playoff, there is no time to complain on non-call. So you have to sprint down on defense. Otherwise, you'll get burned on those fast big plays. Let's bring in Jessica Mendoza. Guys, pagtapos lang daw ng game 1, inamin ni Vernon Macklin na may iniinda siya sa kanyang right thigh and knee after a hit tama si Richard by Jason Castro nung semis. Sabi sa akin, masakit raw talaga and it has been affecting his game but his teammates know that he's not gonna quit at sa ngayon, ang hinahanap nila sa kanya ay rebounds while everyone else hopes to step up to support him, guys. So there's your complete report. Oh, there it is. And it's a situation that we will monitor you know, for, for the uh, remainder of this game, whether or not Macklin can manage to play through that pain in this very critical game. Ellis passa kay Kirby, shot lock down to five, and Raimundo connects. Much better for Kirby. For Kirby, you have to make the decisions quickly. Kita mo lang, pagpasa sa kanya, may decision siya kagad. Sometimes he gets caught jab-stepping at nakitigil yung pensa nila. The miscommunication on the part of the Ginebra in terms of their defense. It was a matchup zone. They were trying to switch everything, but somebody left Jimmy Castro open. He never may not have the firepower na sabayan ng Alaska, but they cannot do all those things defensively. Masama sa kanila yun. You know, this is what Kirby needs to do. He needs to crash the boards. Kasi every time the ball is in the post, dito kay Vernon Macklin, that's your zone lang ito si Dozier. And Kirby, you know, instead of just going back on defense, he needs to crash the boards and get offensive boards. Jamie Casio called for his first personal, two free throws para kay Kirby Raimundo, and he missed the first. We'll see the uh, entry of Mark the Spark Kagiwa as he replaces Chris Ellis. So Kirby cuts down Alaska's lead to one point, eight seven. Dito sa mga wala ng bahagi ng opening quarter. Take some one three one is Barangay Hinebra. Shot clock reads 12. Nick babalik kay JV. JV being chased by LA. Shot clock down to 7. Nick will fire a 3. And LA clears the rebound. Wow, LA and uh, Abueva. But, uh, yeah, yeah, things are happening between those two. Jason, yeah, we, we're going to get a chance to look at this because this has been boiling over from the start of this game. Unang atake pa lamang. This was the play before, earlier, nung umatake si L.A. You can see L.A. catches a little bit of Calvin there. Not much, though. No? But Calvin already, Calvin already taking notice at nagsumbong na sa, ref, sa referee. And you can see Calvin preparing himself there and really giving L.A. a bump there. Pero L.A., hindi na to yung bola kay Calvin. You know what? I think what he never should do in this game is to play with a lot of pride but less of their egos. Si, si Abueva, yung na nangyayari, because sobra silang nainis kay Abueva. As we take a look at this, uh, we'll listen to the uh, official announcement. So, sobra silang nainis kay Abueva. Second motion sa LA, technical foul. Yeah, but here's the thing. I, I, 
that's that's a correct call. But you cannot allow Calvin to be clapping his hands in, in, yes, in, yes. In after after these things because that makes that that fuels the fire. Yeah. And and to continue my point, when sobra ka minus ka Abueva, the two points na Abueva feels like ten points. Ten points. Oh, pwede yeah. siya. Yeah. Kasi masado ka yung na. Uh, Parang malalim yung pinanggagalingan ng input mo, Charda. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, let's bring in Erica Padilla. Aminado si Calvin Abueva na sa court, mayabang daw talaga siya. Choice daw niya talaga yun dahil nakita niya ang naging magandang impact nito sa kanyang team para mapataas ang kanilang energy. People can say what they want. Ang mahalaga ay kung ano at kung paano niya natutulungan ang team to get to their collective goal. Balik sa inyo. I feel bad for Coach Louis Alas. Why was he called for empowered bench the court? Not na ata ng, ng ano, nakatayo eh. Ang <laughs> assistant coach eh. Here's Kagiwa with a pull-up. Rebound, Dozier. Things really getting very interesting, and we're just in the opening quarter of game number three. Abueva fires and misses. And Kagiwa clears the rebound. Inebra down by two as we near the halfway mark of an eventful opening quarter. It's LA against the Beast, and LA scores! Here's LA, best player of the conference over the base, and he connects. Uh, earlier, uh, LA Tenore was named the Panasonic best player of the conference. A lot of uh, anxiety and a lot of excitement over that award. It went down to last two, two people, two players, LA and Calvin, and uh, theoretically, sila rin yung uh, Nag-aaway dito sa first quarter. Nag-aaway. Nag-aaway. Nag-aaway pa naman. Hindi pa naman nag-aaway. Hindi, nag-aaway din. Nag-iinisan. Nag-iinisan, okay. It's a good sign though. If you're a Ginebra fan, Mark Aguiwa started or came into this game early. quite early. early. That yeah. means that he's feeling much better. Meantime, Don Don Ontiveros, uh, with those dagger threes back in game number two, is now part of the ball game. Labang ng dalawang Ginebra as we hit the halfway mark of the opening quarter and Kirby can't uh, score and loose ball picked up by JV Casho. Here's JV. Kick out. Abueva against Kagiwa. The Beast against the Spark. And Calvin goes in and he is fouled. Right now, in Ebra's defense, successful in confusing a little bit and disrupting Tungo Pensa ng Alaska. Right now, what they're doing in those ball screens is sending baseline. And a second pass, they're switching. So, medyo nagkakaroon ng disruption. Hindi yung normal ball movement sa Pensa ng Alaska nangyayari. And they're taking shots that they're not used to taking. LA takes the ball away from uh, Gabby Espinas. More than halfway done. It's the opening quarter. And Kirby will miss. Alaska down by one. They have Montiveros, Abueva, Dozier, Espinas, and JV Casho. Here's Dozier. Wow. Calvin and JJ battling at the post. Advantage, Abueva. And he finds Espinas. Hand time move, no go. And Abueva is down. And here comes Ginebra. LA. Here's Kagiwa firing away. Yes, sir. Well, you know what? Right now, the referee is really allowing a lot of contact. Yeah. It's going on both sides. Uh, you can see. Even guys that have the basketball, they have the na. So, referee's got to control this game. There's a tip in for Rob Dozier, and that will cut down in Ebra's lead to two. And yeah, that's where he is very effective. You know, the offense of Alaska doesn't start, start from Dozier. He's usually a screener, and he's their best rebounder. And uh, he plays well off the ball. Remember how big rebounding was in game number two. Ang laki ng diferencia, and that went the way of Alaska. Here's Macklin. LA for three. No go. Nice snap by JB Casho. We have 4 and 15 remaining uh, here in the opening period. Dozier. They have 12 seconds to work with. Dozier finds Calvin. And here's Espinas. Nice fake. Three fakes. And Espinas is uh, hammered. 
Alison Kirby, first person na laban kay Kirby Raimundo. Two free throws para kay Gabby Espina. Ang gusto kong ginagawa dito na Hinebra, there's a, meron silang no layup rule being applied here in the first quarter. You know, it's, it's a, kesa makalayup ka, tira mo na lang just a free throw line. And they're sending a message. Our Fresco Fresh Face brought to you by Rainer Shine Fresco, the first and only odorless antibacterial and 100% elastomeric paint. Well, look, if you're down 0-2, <laughs> that's a big hit. That's a big hit. That's a big hit. Carlo Antonio Tiveras, his first personal. And we have a timeout here. Hinebra on top by two. parang kailangan ko ng aircon ngayon. Ah. Medyo naiinitan na ako. Arts, ang init ng laro eh. Nobody is physical, right Jason? I mean, we we can see it and I'm pretty sure our uh, viewers over at TV5 can likewise see it as JJ will miss. And it's, and it's going both ways. Uh, Ginebra's been physical. So has Alaska. And when you see fouls like that, there's no place right now in a do-or-die game. You expect something more. I think that's a JJ foul. It's like no layup rule. That's what they lost. But they lost si Calvin Abueva. So they lost the target of Ginebra. That's why they lost the layup. Right? That's it. Cyrus Baguio. They lost the target of Calvin Abueva. They lost the target of Calvin Abueva. Yes. <laughs> Seven points for best import, Rob Tozer. And Alaska is ahead. A new 15-14 with under four minutes to go in the opening quarter. Nebra goes to Macklin against Espinas. Macklin's pass was disrupted by Dondo. One of the things that, you know, Macklin doesn't do well, pass the ball out of the double team. Two games so far in almost a quarter here. Zero assists. Dino doble pa siya. That's right. Pero ang Alaska naman kasi, they, sometimes they don't double right away. Itong si Dozier just sitting inside the paint. Sometimes he needs to attack and make Dozier commit. Okay, para merong malilibre ngayon as a teammate niya. Yeah. You can't just stand there at the post and just pass the ball kahit wala pang double team. He's not becoming a threat. He's yes. doubling and waiting. Well, but that double is not going to come unless he gets his both feet in the paint. Wide open three for RJ Azul. Defensive rebound for Dozier. Azul will try again. For three. Yes, sir! One thing that's changing in this game. Offensive rebounds now going the way of Alaska. Meantime, Macklin. Now that put back slam all count. And you know, this is what makes Alaska so oh, tough. Three, you know, just a couple of substitutions, you change a couple of guys. And look, they're back in the driver's seat, and they have the momentum. And right now, there's more flow in their offense. And, you know, guys like Hazul uh, hitting those shots. And that's why Alaska is such a deep team, and they're showing it here in the finals. Look now at Microtel by Wyndham Baggio and enjoy big savings. Call 899-7171 or log on to microtelphilippines.com. Microtel by Wyndham, a better place to stay. Alam mo, Richard, yung mga players ng Alaska, wala kang masasabi na it's a liability on offense. Yes. All of them can actually make shots from the outside. So when they change personnel, hindi nawawala yung threat ng bawat, ng bawat individual nila. That's right. Baggio, Azul, and Dondon are all outside threats. And here's Bakio from the outside. Rebound, Dozier in the put back. That's a problem because you have Macklin stepping out to challenge that shot. Somebody has got to put a body on Dozier. Tipong, you will not go for the rebound anymore. Ang trabaho mo lang, ibax out si Dozier. It's okay if you don't get the rebound as long as hindi rin maka-rebound si Dozier. Here's LA kick out. Mark Kagiwa for three. Here ball, but there's Macklin. And Macklin is fouled going back to Dozier. Amazing rebounding numbers for Dozier in this series. Right now he's averaging 21 rebounds a game. And Rob Dozier, I think the one thing that you've seen the difference between these two players, Macklin and Dozier, no one had labor as in the series. Dun umangat at nakilala talaga na pwede mo sabihin, Dozier is the best import because 
He showed he's a better defender and more importantly, a more better rebounder so far in the series. Okay, five picks, one word. Uh, the uh, winner will uh, receive a papatisyon. Come on, man. Sige, basta ikaw magbayad. There's a warning to uh, Alaska head coach Luigi Trillo for resentment to a call. Two for two for Vernon Macklin and he cuts down Alaska's lead to two. Under two minutes remaining, it is a quarter number one. Azul gets away and loses the ball to L.A. Tenorio. L.A. slices through, sets up Kagiwa. Wait a minute. There was a foul. It's against Dondon Ontiveros. That is number two. Both teams are in the penalty. So much work being done by L.A. Tenorio just to get open and try to create for his team. Look at L.A. Tenorio, 16 points, 9 rebounds, 9 assists, close to a triple-double. Big difference is, think about your field goal, 6 of 19. And I wouldn't be surprised if those 19 shots that he took, a contested shots by him. LA with six points and he ties the game at 20 with one and a half remaining in quarter number one. Skyros against Parakel. Here's JV, outed by Mark Kagiwa. JV gets away for the layup. And they're attacking Mark. Natong Alaska, nakikita nila pag sino yung binabantayan ni Mark Kagiwa. If that guy is a good offensive player, they go to him. Because they want to test kung gano'ng ka-solid ba yung tuhod ni Mark. And in this plan, no, no. Last few minutes of this quarter, ilang layups na binigyan ng depensa ng Hinebra. I mean, there was miscommunication there of where the help would be. They send him baseline, pero walang tumulong. He can't help from the corner. May shooter dun sa corner. LA needs a breather, and in comes uh, Josh Urbistondo. Meantime, here's Rudy Hatfield. Pasa kay Billy Mamaril. Mamaril will miss. Kapik ng bola na punta kay Sonny Boss. We have less than a minute remaining in the opening period. Thank you. Open three. Long bounce. Nakuha ni RJ Azul. Bagong shot clock for Alaska. So Azul yeah, starts to play. Communication. Oh! On defense. Very lucky was Barangay Inebra. That was too early a pass. Too early to pass it to Rudy Hatfield on that fast break play. This is just a two-point game with 30 seconds remaining in the first. Alaska leads the series two games to none. This is a best-of-five affair, and here's JV. JV passed out Dozier, and he is pushed. Two free throws for Rob Dozier. You know what Alaska is doing on this own uh, defense of Inebra? They're making Dozier the screener. Mayon, maglobas yung wacha. It forces the man in the middle, yung big guy ng Inebra, to go out and challenge uh, the guards. So ngayon, pagtira ng Guardia, nandun na si Dozier for that offensive rebound. You gotta give up something if you're Barangay Inebra. You know it's coming. If you're the point guard, if you're the top guy in that 1-3-1, one, one, dikitan mo na para hindi ka tatamaan ng screen. Na, lagi silang nauhuli ng screen ni Dozier. And when that happens, gaya na sinabi mo, yung middle guy dun sa 1-3-1 one, one has to come out, yeah. and Dozier's just there. Libre-libre siya sa gitna. Dozier with 10 points tonight. And that's a 3-point lead para sa Alaska. Now, Inebra can write the last sentence of the opening chapter. We have 10 seconds remaining in the first. Urbistondo is scanning the floor. BBA game, Mark Kagiwa. Five seconds to go. Mark fires. High looper. Two seconds to go. JV has it at the buzzer. At the end of the first, Alaska leads 23-20. This is game number three of the PBA Finals on TV5. The past and the fears, the silence, the virus.